a private investigator who recently visited the Wyoming site where Gabby Petito's remains were discovered, speculated that the Teton County coroner may reveal that the woman died from asphyxiation after viewing the body cam video with Utah police. Petito's death has been ruled a homicide, but there were no other details about what factors lead to her death. Brent Blue, the coroner, called for a 12.30 p.m. Montana virtual press conference today where it is believed that the cause of death will be identified. Jason Jensen, a Salt Lake City-based investigator, told Fox News Digital that he believes that the cause of death could very well be asphyxiation, based on Petito's body language in the August 12 body cam footage from Mobe, Utah. Petito told police that Brian Laundry, her fiancé, grabbed her face during a domestic dispute. I wouldn't be surprised that it's manual strangulation, he claimed. I wouldn't be surprised if he's choked her before. Any victim that's been choked before, their natural reaction is to lower their chin to their clavicle to prevent that hand from going around their throat. Last month, Blue determined Petito was a homicide victim but did not disclose a cause of death. Petito was traveling cross-country in a Ford Transit van with Laundrie when she went missing. Laundrie, 23, returned home to Northport, Florida, on September 1 in the van without Petito. He is wanted on debit card fraud charges and is also a person of interest in the homicide of Petito. Teton County, Wyoming, Coroner Brent Blue today will hold a virtual press conference regarding the final autopsy report for deceased Gabby Petito, officials said Monday. The FBI on September 19 discovered Petito's remains at a dispersed campground in the Bridger Teton National Forest. Blue later identified the remains and ruled Petito's death a homicide in his preliminary autopsy report. The press conference will be held at 12.30 p.m. Montana and is limited to members of the press, according to a Teton County spokesperson.